we uh, have had prohibition in the state for 75 years. Uh, identical in many ways the prohibition on alcohol with many of the same results um, and we have not revisited this policy. Uh, keep in mind marijuana was illegally made, originally made illegal for economic reasons involving industries that were competing with it, had nothing to do with health or anything like that. Um, and uh, we now arrest about 25,000 people a year in Pennsylvania on marijuana offenses. We uh, spend about 350 million a year directly on prosecuting people for marijuana offenses, and we're destroying lives. What we're doing is we're taking people who've har harmed nobody, destroyed no property, have not breached the peace in any way, and we're treating them like criminals. We're threatening them with incarceration, being separated from their families, a permanent criminal record, an end to their academic or professional career, uh, and it's just a cruel, um, uh, irrational, per pernicious policy. Uh, not only does it destroy lives and cost us hundreds of million dollars, millions of dollars. It forces people who use marijuana <coughs> to buy it from uh, criminals on the street where it may not be safe, it may be laced with all sorts of uh, dangerous chemicals. And we do this, you know, keep in mind, this is a product which is less dangerous, less addictive, uh, less anything than alcohol and in most cases cigarettes as well. Um, anything you could say bad about marijuana, you could say about alcohol and you could say far worse. Couple examples, uh, alcohol is physically addictive. We can measure physical addictiveness. If you use alcohol a long time, become addicted, and you stop using it suddenly, you go through withdrawal symptoms and you could actually die. They, they can be fatal. <clears throat> Marijuana, you could smoke every 10 minutes for 20 years and stop suddenly, and at worst, you will miss your pot, but you're not gonna have any physical uh, effects of withdrawal. Um, so it's not physically addictive. In fact, in terms of physical addictiveness, there's a, actually a, uh, a uh, chart uh, or a, a measure of that and uh, marijuana is not only less physically addictive than alcohol and cigarettes it's less physically addictive than chocolate and tea so I mean this, this so that's that's number one number two alcohol has a lethal dose you can sit down and drink yourself to death in one sitting you could have 20 shots or whatever it is and die many people have done that uh, famously, the drummer for Led Zeppelin did that, but he's not the only one. There's many of them. Um, and uh, marijuana has no lethal dose. You can try to smoke yourself to death, uh, but you can't. It won't work. Um, further studies show alcohol leads to disproportionately violent and, and, and reckless behavior. Marijuana does not lead to violent and reckless behavior. So on issue after issue, if we were starting from scratch and we had alcohol and we had marijuana and we're like, which should we make illegal? We would never have our current policy. It, 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 we would just never do that. Um, so why not revisit this, stop destroying lives, stop making people buy an unsafe, unregulated product that they don't know the potency or the safety of, and start collecting the hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars that we could use to build schools, get medicine to sick kids, tax cuts, whatever it is you want to spend the money on uh, instead. Uh, they're, 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 this is an irrational policy and it's, it, it's time that it ends.